Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Silver Wolves here. In this video, I'll be discussing how I got into stacking precious metals. So please, do not change that dial. So once again folks, Exacto knife, a model ship builder's hobbyist best friend. So a couple of years ago, I decided to live out one of my childhood fantasies and that was to build a wooden model ship. So in my research, I came across a, a YouTube channel by Gary Brinkner, which I'll leave a link below on the uh, blue nose build. He does a 40 video series on a, on a how to it's it's if you guys are really interested in getting into this type of stuff i recommend his channel he does other videos on other models but i found the blue nose to be the most uh, attractive to what i was looking for in, in building a wooden model ship and in, in that time during the build i decided where i was going to place it which would be above my fireplace and i wanted to get something to accompany it a real life image of the blue nose to sit next to her on the uh, fireplace. So in, in, in that research, I came across, um, the Canadian 10 cent dime, the silver Canadian 10 cent dime. It, it does depict the uh, blue nose on her. Um, so I said, Hey, you know, that'd be pretty cool. I could, uh, get a little display, have a picture, have the dime. So, Finding out where I could purchase this, I came across uh, the Atmex site. At that time, I, I had no clue what silver stacking was, that I, that I couldn't even afford to uh, start collecting silver and stacking silver. So I get onto Atmex, I, I purchase a few of these, and then I came across an article on, on stacking. So naturally, I researched on YouTube stacking, and I came across hundreds of videos on how to stack silver and precious metals, etc. So I, in a roundabout way, I could contribute my, my stacking journey, my, my hunting. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to the stacking community and thanks to the blue nose. Um, I'm going to give you a little closer shot of her. See if I could get her in there. It has the, uh, beautiful, uh, young queen of England on the back. Also have here some, some Canadian, uh, quarters. 80% silver. Canadian silver dollars. Also 80% silver. Again, the young queen. So, um, let's see. So, yeah, it, it's next to silver stacking. Uh, this is, uh, quite a, it, it could be an expensive hobby. Um, as I went along, I had to buy certain tools and pieces in order to, to get the look that I wanted. Um, it is highly recommended that you, you do a lot of research before you pick your ship. Um, let's see what else. If, if for my, um, for my uh, American viewers, hopefully, uh, those in Canada know what the blue nose is since it was, um, it was a pretty iconic ship for them, but, uh, it's just a little brief history for you guys on, on what the Blue Nose is. It's, um, uh, she was built in Lon Londonburg, Nova Scotia as a fishing and racing schooner. She was very fast. Um, the faster ship got back to the harbor quicker and got paid the most for their catch. Uh, she was skippered by Angus Walters. And during World, uh, what she became most famous for was she was pretty much undefeated, uh, for her whole racing career. Um, she, I believe she only lost once to a, a schooner from Boston, Massachusetts, but then she redeemed herself by beating that ship a few years later. And unfortunately, um, during World War II, she was sold and used as a, um, freighter ship because th during World War II, the, the, there was the fear of the German U boats, you know, floating around in the Atlantic that, that would sink her. So the, she was used as a freighter ship in, in, 
in the um, the ha- around Haiti, and she hit a coral reef and sank in 1946. Um, yeah, again, she became really famous pretty much for going undefeated throughout her racing career in, in many international cup races. And because of that, she was honored by the Canadian government on stamps and coins. And it's a uh, great history here. And it's really inspirational to, to share this with you guys. Um, how I got into stacking silver. So I, I really, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you guys could share how you got started. I really appreciate that and see you guys in the future.